I wanted to show you something a little different today that's related to the new ChatGPT 4.0, which I know everybody's talking about. There are lots of interesting new features. Uh, some of them sound amazing, but in reality are just a little bit of an advance, not amazing. But I found that the translation feature and the text to voice is really, really good. Now, right now on the desktop, the read aloud for, is not working, but I'm sure that they will fix that in an update. And it does work though on the app on the phone. So I wanna show you one thing you should, could do with translation, which is with your courses, with your course books and slideshows. So here I just pasted some text from one of our courses, our new one on visual storytelling. And I took some stuff from the introduction and I said, translate the following text to Swedish. Now I am logged in, I'm in my team, account, which you could even just get one person in it, but it means that anything I upload, anything I put in will not be used by ChatGPT to train their model. So I keep it more secure. So I have the ChatGPT 4.0 that should be default now when you do that. And it brought it up all in Swedish. Then I tried it again and I said, can you read it out loud? And that's where I found that the reading out loud was not working right now. But if you do wanna read it out loud, you'll be able to, when it's working, click on this little read aloud button. And then you could potentially record that with uh, something that records system audio. Snagit will do that, some others will, but I'll show you another option in a minute. And then I said, okay, let's try it in something else. You don't have to paste it in again. I just said, can you translate the original text in this chat to Japanese? It put it all into Japanese. I could do the read out loud on that too. And then I said, okay, now can you put it into a slideshow? Can you translate the attached slideshow to Italian. And here's where you can use that upload feature. So whenever you start a chat, if you look on the bottom here, there's this little paper clip and you can click on that and either connect to one of your drives. I chose not to because I don't want ChatGPT to just look at everything on my Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, or you can upload for the, from the computer. So I could just click on that and pick the file. So I picked the PowerPoint one and it said, sure, it showed me at first just on the screen in text. Um, I have it set up to just do a little bit at the time in my custom instructions, which are now in a different spot. So in the upper right, used to be in the lower right, you can mess with your custom instructions here. And I have something where I have for longer requests, provide an outline and then deliver it in sections because I don't want everything at once. That way you can check and make sure that it's on the right track. So put it there, but that's really not that helpful to have it on there. So I also did it with the course book and I said, oh, I really need to have that downloaded. So I did another test. So this is all the course book stuff. And I said, okay, can you actually put that into a Word document? And sure enough, it did. It just won't do the same kind of formatting as it already has. I'll show you that in my downloads where it put it. And then I've got the slideshow in Italian. I'll show you the Korean in a second because that's pretty cool too. And sure enough, it's there in Italian, but it doesn't keep the formatting so I can go into design and then pick one of the ones that's built into PowerPoint or if you have one that's already set up where you've made edits and you just wanna save it, like save current theme, you can pick that. This is a really simple one. And it's put it much more nicely formatted and then you can use the built-in designer, which is also in the design tab over on the right to pick maybe some other designs. It doesn't do anything that interesting here, but it sometimes gives some interesting things, particularly when there's bullet points. You can play with that, put in a different theme, something that's pretty simple, and then play with the design on that. So that's one way to get a slideshow with a different translation in it, and also same with the Word document. So you can tell it to download it in Word. So here is the Word document now. 
at least the amount that we've translated so far into Italian. The table contents you'd have to redo, but it has all the rest of it. Now, I don't speak Italian, so I don't know how accurate this is, but this is one of the things that's a big update in ChatGPT 4.0, the whole translation ability. Now, the big question is, how do you get this to speak out loud to you? On the app right now, you can get it speaking out loud. As they fix it, you'll be able to actually click this read out loud button and hear it and then record it with some sort of recorder. Mac users, Apple users can use an app right now to do that. I wanna show you how it is on an iPhone. So I've opened up my ChatGPT app, which you can see right there. I pick the same, that translation test, you can see here that it has all the text. I'm gonna go down to one, if you're looking on the screen, I'll go down to one where I did it in Korean. So I did it in Italian and then to get to Korean, I just said, now can you do both the Word document and the PowerPoint in Korean? So I did it in the Word and the PowerPoint. That is also possible to paste into a text to voice reader, which I'll show you in a second. But if you want something to be, just be read out loud and then record the audio, um, if it's on the computer, Again, Snagit, you could record the system. In um, other ones like Descript, you could just record audio. So let's do the Italian. I'll find that in my chat on the phone so I can show you that. I have it all in Italian, which you're looking at here. But on here, I can just press here. You see that? Now, if I press and hold that, I will get the option to read aloud. So I'm gonna press read aloud. Sure, I can translate the course book into Italian. I'll start with the first sections and proceed from there. Here's the translation of the introduction and the first part of the course book. Cattura il tuo pubblico con il visual storytelling. Come creare narrazioni visive coinvolgenti per ingaggiare i clienti e migliorare il tuo messaggio. Manuale del corso per studenti. So then I, I just click the, there's a pause button and a play button at the very top so that I can listen to it. So that's kind of cool. When you can do it on the computer, then you could record it and actually download it as a file from whatever your recording is. I like that as a potential now because the voice reading out loud on ChatGPT I found better than some of the other ones available right now. So I looked over for free text-to-speech readers. I tried this TTS reader, didn't find the voice very good. Um, Eleven Labs has a paid one where you can do a lot more, but again, that's a paid one. So anything with longer stuff you're gonna have to pay for. But then I tried this one, Natural Reader, and I went over to that. I did not pay for it because I didn't want to pay for it. I don't need that much. But if you wanna download an audio file and then upload it on top of a PowerPoint, you could do that. So I had ChatGBT translate to Korean which I just put it directly into a Word document. So I'll show you that Word document, which is in Korean, right? So again, perfect, it's all in Korean. I don't speak Korean, so I don't know how accurate it is, but I would stick with things that you know or have someone check it. So then I took just some initial text from the introduction, copied it, so you can just go like that, copy it and again you do this for something if you have a lot you do it in um, a paid account and then i went back over here to the natural readers and i pasted it in here right in there and then i click play 만약 더 많은 고객을 유치하고 참여시키는 새로운 방법을 찾는 데 어려움을 겪고 있다면 시각적 스토리텔링 It's a pretty natural sounding voice. You can pick different things in here in this naturalreaders.com. It's just a text to speech reader, but it has a lot of different options for voices. 
including ones for different languages. So you would just go through. I picked the language of Korean, but you could pick other ones like um, the Italian one. So we had done that in Italian. And you can preview the voices. Press play. Natural Reader Commercial consente agli utenti di ridistribuire. Not bad. Let's try woman. Cheerful or chat. That's interesting. Let's try cheerful. So che il sole è per i fiori. I sorrisi sono per l'umanità. Doesn't sound as um, human as I would like, but they're still really improving a lot. So then I'd be able to pick that, change the style. And then Isabella in there. Obviously, I'm not going to have her read Korean, but I can go back over to my documents where I downloaded it into Italian and I'd open that up. And I'd take the first section from Italian and copy that and go back over to my natural readers, put that in here. You'd start this as a new project. This is just their demo, but you would do your own project and then click play. Takes a second. Se hai difficoltà a trovare nuovi modi per attrarre e coinvolgere più clienti, il Visual Storytelling è per te. So if you want to translate something for a different market, uh, if you've bought something from us in English and your market is Italian or Korean or something else, ChatGPT can be a free way to help you translate it and actually get audio, whether it's to record system audio with a recorder or use another app like this natural readers or 11 labs or something else and then download the audio and play it on top of your slide because they do have this download button here to download the audio but then you'll have to upgrade to a paid account the yearly small business is 25 dollars a month and then there are limitations on the number of characters and voices and things like that Now you could, like I said, just record the system audio. So if you have it playing out loud, you can go over to something like, I'm using Snagit, you can just record system audio there, or you could use something like Descript over here where you would start a new project. So I would click on new, say audio project, if I just want to do audio and then just do the system. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I would click on record and I would just have the computer audio done. And I might want to display screen if I want to also show my slides at the same time. And that is everything at the moment. So that's an interesting little way to try and use ChatGPT 4.0. They have really improved the translation side. So if you're working with a different market or even if you just want to translate say an email you have some clients or students in other markets and you want to just be able to converse with them in their language or you get a support ticket we sometimes get support tickets in a different language and we have to translate it and it's much more accurate now and you play around with it it does seem to have improved with accuracy in other areas too let me know how you're using the new chat 4.0 if you are already also take care